This is the continent of North America. Not as we humans know it, but as it was near the twilight of the Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. To the east of the burgeoning Rocky Mountains that are being thrust upward by the warring tectonic forces beneath the Earth's surface, sits a verdant coastal floodplain where angiosperms, or flowering plants, are beginning to become common amongst the forests of the more ancient conifers and ferns, all foreshadowing a world that we are much more accustomed to. Streams and wetlands flow into a regressing inland sea that has cut North America in two for much of the Cretaceous. In these freshwater habitats, we find a familiar sight. Turtles. Believed to have evolved in the Triassic, turtles have thrived and diversified for over 150 million years since. But this is a newer breed, having appeared earlier in the Cretaceous. Likely originating in Asia, the Trionychids, or soft-shelled turtles, have since begun to disperse around the globe. Their light and relatively flexible shells make them maneuverable ambush predators that will survive for countless millennia to come. However, not all of the late Cretaceous fauna is so familiar, and something strange stalks toward the water. This is an ornithomimid dinosaur, a group of Cretaceous theropods that bear a resemblance to the modern ratite birds, like the ostrich or emu. This convergent body plan may have arisen because they once shared a similar ecological niche to those modern ground birds. This species, known as Struthiomimus altus, has been found across western North America, and is eyeing the water's edge. Satisfied, the Struthiomimus makes its way back into the dense lowland forest. This omnivore has more important business to attend to than unintentionally terrorizing turtles. Although ornithomimids are fast, it pays to be wary. Tyrannosaurs stalk these floodplains, and the task at hand is far too vital to jeopardize. A small clearing reveals what so desperately required this animal's attention. A clutch of eggs. Like many modern birds and crocodilians, some dinosaurs likely exhibited parental care, protecting their eggs and regulating their temperatures by brooding or covering the nest with foliage. For this Struthiomimus, being a dedicated parent may just prove indispensable for the survival of the next generation. However, just as the last light of day shines through the conifers, so too will the sun set on the Mesozoic era in only a few million years' time. The Maastrichtian sky will be lit by the blinding flames of a meteorite screaming into the atmosphere, and around 75% of all species on Earth will breathe their last in the fallout. And though the Trionychids and other resilient turtles will ultimately endure their brush with total extinction, Struthiomimus and nearly all other dinosaurs will face oblivion. But not all hope for the legacy of these strange and wonderful Mesozoic beasts is lost. Another coastal ecosystem, perhaps more familiar, Turtles still swim the waterways, but in the millennia since the KPG mass extinction, angiosperms have become extremely successful, and in the grass that dominates the water's edge, a dinosaur preens its feathers in the golden evening light. 
one clade from the branch of the dinosaur family tree that was populated by animals like Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus, and indeed, Struthiomimus did survive. The Birds Forged by the flames of mass extinction 66 million years past, and all the countless selected pressures of the ages since, these survivors that had their start back during the Jurassic have diversified and become immensely successful throughout the Cenozoic, blossoming into a whole new branch of strange and amazing archosaurs that spread across every continent. Many may take the organisms around us every day for granted, but to those who dare to delve into deep time, listening to the tales sung by the ranks of the living, the fossil remains left by their ancestors, and the strata in which they are buried, the earth reveals the interwoven story of life. Our story. And in an age where humanity finds itself increasingly at odds with the natural world, perhaps it's time that we all realize that the more we fight against our planet, the more we fight against ourselves. If we take the time to listen to the tomes of rock beneath our feet, as well as the multitude of species with which we share our strange little speck in the cosmic dark, the Earth is more than willing to share tantalizing pieces of our deep history. Defined by cycles of extinction and rebirth, geologic upheaval and erosion, and sometime in the future, by the actions that we choose to take, here and now. The stage may change, and the characters along with it, but the story never ends.